Please be seated. We're back on the record in the matter of State of Utah versus Martin McNeil. He is present with his counsel. The state's attorneys are present. The jury is seated, and Ms. Hang is on the stand. You may continue. Thank you. Okay, Ms. Hang, where we left off was talking about some of the some family troubles after Michelle's death. Um, and you mentioned that you uh, were aware of discord uh, between Martin and his older daughters. Is that correct? Yes. Um, <clears throat> uh, was a person named Jillian the source of that discord? Yes. Um, did you ever meet Jillian? I did. Uh, when did you meet her? I met her um, shortly after Michelle's death. Do you recall how shortly? Uh, a few weeks, probably. Months, okay. maybe. Like a few weeks to a month. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what, what were the circumstances where that happened? Uh, we were, this was Vanessa, Jamie, and I, we were interviewing nannies to take help take care of the younger girls. Okay. Uh, you've already told us about Damien. Will you just uh, remind us who Vanessa is? Vanessa is also Martin and Michelle's daughter. Okay. Is she one of the older yes. daughters? All right. <clears throat> and, and you were uh, asked to, I'm sorry. You're... Interview um, some nannies that uh, Martin wanted to, or specifically one nanny, to, uh, to help take care of the girls. Okay. Were there any other applicants? Not to my knowledge. Other than this one nanny? No. Um, <clears throat> uh, do you recall that one applicant's name? Jillian. Um, is that the first time that you had met her? Yes. Um, <clears throat> and did you three, in fact, interview her? Yes. What was the result of that interview? Martin decided to hire her as the nanny. Um, do you know why Martin asked you guys to screen potential nannies? Um, I think he just wanted some of the kids' involvement and just help um, help with the decision making so it maybe just wasn't him bringing on the, uh, just the nanny. Okay. Um, and he, he uh, ended up hiring Jillian, is that correct? Yes. As part of this uh, board or this committee of, of uh, children who, um, well, let me back up real quick. I want to ask another question. I'm sorry. And, and uh, hopefully this doesn't seem discourteous, but uh, at this point, um, you're Damien's girlfriend. Do you know, why did he ask you to participate? I was really close with Damien. We, um, any time that I was uh, with him, I would always just be with Damien to support him. And the family, we, I thought we were really close, so I just was kind of treated as one of them. Okay. Um, were Alexis and Rachel part of that committee? No. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what advice did you give Martin after interviewing Jillian? I knew that there was um, some tension between Al uh, Alexis and Rachel and with Jillian. Um, so I encouraged Martin to not hire her because it could separate them even further. Okay. Um, how did Martin respond to that? He still hired um, Jillian and said that he didn't want his kids controlling his life. Okay. You... Um, what, did, how long after this interview was the hire made? Pretty immediately, within a couple of days. Was Martin's and Jillian's relationship limited that of employer and nanny? No. How did you uh, come to make that conclusion? Um, later, down, a couple of months later, we found out that they were in an intimate relationship, and. Um, Damien and I also, on one occasion, we went to lunch. Okay, before we go to there. Okay. Um, how did you find out that they were in an intimate relationship? Um, just... Let me, I'm sorry, let me, can I strike that question and rephrase it? Did Martin ever tell you that he was in an intimate relationship with Gypsy? Yes. Okay. And, and was that a couple months later? Yes. Um... <clears throat> Did he ever disclose to you how long that intimate relationship had been going on? No. Okay. Um, now, you, did you ever socialize, you and Damien, with, uh, with Martin and Jillian? Yes. Will you describe that? We went to lunch on one occasion and... Um, Do you recall when that was? It was a few weeks after she was hired as the nanny. Okay. 
And so this is reaching a month, maybe a little bit more than a month after Michelle's death? Yes. Maybe a little bit under a month? Yes. Okay. Um, where Do you recall where you were? Um, I don't remember which restaurant, but it was just like a sit-down restaurant, relaxed environment. Okay. Um, and what did you observe there that made you think this this might be a little bit more than employer nanny? I saw Jillian reach over and eat uh, food off of Martin's plate, and I thought that was strange given their employee-employer relationship. Did you remark about that to anyone? I told Damien that I thought that was weird. Okay. Um, <clears throat> a couple of questions I want to clarify going back to uh, the pills in the bathroom and flushing them down the toilet. Um, did Martin ever explain to you why he wanted to have the pills destroyed? He wanted just to get rid of them because it might have contributed to Michelle's death. Okay. Um, do you recall saying at a prior time that he, uh, that he had said he couldn't bear to look at them? Yes, I do remember that. Okay. And was that an accurate statement from your interaction with Martin? Yes. Okay. Well, when did your relationship with the McNeils end? When Damien and I broke up in February 2008. Okay, and have you kept in touch with them over time? I, periodically I've, uh, I've talked with Alexis or Rachel, but no, never, I haven't recently. Okay, and when you say recently, when, when was about the last time you? The last interaction I had with Alexis was um, just at the preliminary hearing. I think I just said hello, and that was it. Okay, and that was a year ago? Yes. Okay. You may. Uh, Ms. Hang, I'm showing you uh, what's been marked as State's Exhibit Number 18. Uh, it's a photograph. Um, do you recognize the woman in that photograph? Yes. Who is that? This is Jillian. Did you ever come to know Jillian by any other name? Yes. And what was that? Gypsy. Did you ever know her last name? I think it's Willis. Okay. Um, <clears throat> earlier I showed you, uh, if I might approach again, Your Honor. You may. I showed you a state's exhibit number uh, 25. Um, and uh, will, you, will you describe that again real quick? Yes, this is a picture of a blood stain. Okay. Um, if, uh, if, if I told you that were the carpet in the McNeil's bedroom, would that be inconsistent with your knowledge of their bedroom? Yes. Okay, I'm just, I'm make sure I said consistent instead of inconsistent. Oh, this looks like the carpet in their bedroom, okay, yes. Okay, thank you. Um, <clears throat> and when you described the size of the blood stain earlier in your testimony today, um, is, is that same size represented anywhere on that photograph? Um, it could be. This photograph is not that clear because I can't tell how big it is, but there is a little darker spot, and that kind of, that looks like the blood spot that I saw. Okay. Um, <clears throat> did the blood spot and the wet spot in the carpet look exactly like that a couple hours later when you saw it? Um, no. Okay. Um, it, but this was a couple hours later? Yes. Correct? Okay. If I could have just one minute, Your Honor. Your Honor, may I have permission to publish uh, exhibit number 18 to the jury? What is it? Is it already received? I believe it. Received but not published. You may. Thank you. You tender the witness. You may cross. Good afternoon, Ms. Hang. Hello. I call you Eileen? Yes. Okay. Hi, Eileen. This blood spot you talked about, um, you only saw one blood spot. Is that correct? Uh, yes. Okay. And you stated that you spent a lot of time at the McNeil home? Yes. 
Okay, you went there every Sunday? Not every Sunday, but we would go for Sunday dinners. Okay, and um, wouldn't you say that their house was very clean? Yes. Okay. And the day of Michelle's death, what time did you arrive? Uh, sometime after 1. And you, and you stayed until 8 o'clock that night? The Sunday? evening, sometime in the evening, yes. Okay, but Rachel was still there when you arrived? When I first arrived, Rachel was not there. Okay. When you left, was Rachel still there? I believe she was. Okay. When you arrived um, a little bit after 1, Martin and Damien were already at the house? Yes. And it, it was just those two at the house? Yes. And they were both very upset? Yes. And you've described that Martin was, was very upset? Yes. <coughs> and you, you witnessed Martin after Michelle's death? Yes. And um, you've described that he was um, absolutely devastated. He was devastated, yes. Okay. And you stated that Martin told you what had happened that day, correct? Right, yes. And he said that he picked Ada up from school. Yes. Okay. And... Um, he described what Michelle was wearing? Yes, he did. Okay. And, and he said that she wasn't wearing any pants? Yes. And he said that, uh, but her top was on? Yes. And um, he thought that that was odd? I don't know if he said that was odd, but I thought that was odd. Okay. And um, he, he stated that he thought she, she may, had, may have been getting, getting ready to have a bath. Yes, or going to the bathroom. Okay. And so that's what he was trying to figure out is when you guys were sitting around the table in the master bedroom, he was trying to figure out what happened, and so he was coming up with different scenarios, correct? He object. It calls for her to speculate about what Martin was doing. Uh, sustained unless you can lay foundation for his having actually made that statement. Did Martin make any statements about how he thought Michelle had died? Yes. Okay. And part of that was that he thought that uh, she may have fallen in the bathtub and hit her head like you stated. That's one of them, yes. And, and the other one was he thought, you know, he was concerned about the medication. Yes. And so that's why you had this pill counting situation. And then he also talked about, you know, he was concerned that she wasn't taking her pills because of, you know, high blood pressure concerns. Yes. And you said cholesterol concerns? Yes, some, that's something that I recall, either high cholesterol or high blood pressure. Right. And so Martin asked you to go into the bathroom to go retrieve the pills yes. and the purpose of that was that Martin wanted to determine what pills Michelle had been taking and what pills she hadn't been taking correct objection calls for speculation again uh, sustained what did he say anything to you about that was there a conversation about that from Martin about what specific? About trying to figure out what pills Michelle had taken and what pills she hadn't taken? He just was kind of um, rambling, just, he, she, Michelle had high blood pressure, I want to see which pills she hasn't been taking and which ones she has been taking. Okay, and there were how many pill bottles? I don't remember specifically, but I have stated five to ten. And you recalled that some of those pill bottles were full? Um, some of them were more full, some of them like three quarters full, some of them had very few pills in it. Okay, and so, so Damien was the one who counted all the pills? Um, Damien was the one that wrote down the, the prescription and how many pills were in the count. And, and you watched Damien do that? Yes.
when you were doing this interview of Gypsy, uh, you stated that Alexis wasn't there. Yes. Was she on the phone? Do you know? No, not to my knowledge. You were aware that Martin was having issues with his foot? Yes. Okay, and, and that he was in a lot of pain? Yes. Okay, and you stated that sometimes he was in so much pain that he had to go uh, to his room, correct? Yes. And you knew that he was going to various doctors to get treatment for his toe? I was told that he was going, so I don't know if he was actually going. Okay. But that was an issue that was brought up? <coughs> yes. Okay, when um, you were there with Martin approximately seven hours that afternoon? Um, I don't remember specifically what time I left, but I was there for quite some time. And people were coming and going? Right, yes. People were bringing casseroles? Yes. And somebody came over to, to give Martin a blessing and Damien a blessing? Yes. Okay. And... At no time did Martin state that he was concerned about cops coming to the door. No. I have one moment, Your Honor. That's all I have, Your Honor. Thank you. Anything further? I want to clarify that last question. Um, no cops coming or Martin not saying anything about cops coming to the door. Um, did he say that anything like that to you? No. Do you have any way of knowing whether he said anything like that to somebody else? No. Um, <clears throat> during your interview of, of Jillian for the nanny position, do you recall anyone being on a telephone? No. And participating telephonically in that interview? No. Um, <clears throat> That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. I have nothing further, Your Honor. Do you have questions for this witness? approach Ms. Sang, just a couple of questions from the jury. Did Martin McNeil tell you how he advertised or if he advertised for nanny applicants? 
Uh, he did not tell me no. And uh, do you know if there was some kind of application process for the nanny position? No. Finally, uh, did you see blood on carpet or on tile? On the carpet. Anything further from the state? Go ahead. You said you went into uh, the McNeil's master bathroom? Yes. Um, did you see any blood in there? At no. All? It, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Any blood at all in the bathroom? No, it, the bathroom was cleaned when I was in the bathroom, when I went to the bathroom. The, the blood that we're looking at on the picture, the blood that you saw is in the carpet in the bathroom. Is that correct? Yes. Thank you. Uh, no further follow -up. Very good. Do you want her to remain under subpoena? Yes, please, you'll remain under your trial subpoena. You may step down today. If you are needed back, you'll be notified. Thank you. Is the state concluding for today? Yes, Judge. We've gone through the witnesses scheduled for today, uh, so we'll take our recess for the evening um, so that you can plan 
and I don't want you sitting for long periods of time. We're going to begin trial tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning instead of 8.30. Uh, we have some things uh, that we need to take care of so that trial can move forward quickly, and I would hate to have you sitting in the room for two hours. So uh, if you'll come promptly at 10.30, uh, we will be here much earlier than that uh, working. Please keep in mind my prior admonition to you. It's your duty not to discuss the case amongst yourselves or with anyone else, including family members and friends. You're not to form or express any opinion about the case until you've heard all the evidence and it's submitted to you for deliberation. Don't do any research on your own using a computer, iPad, or something else, including books or reference materials. Avoid television, radio, or internet news coverage of the trial. Uh, as those may contain information that's not appropriate for your consideration or information that is not accurate. Uh, have a pleasant evening. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. At the bench conference, we discussed uh, the state providing to the court the CJC interview of the child. If you could provide that to me, I'll try to watch that this evening before uh, the uh, foundation issue will be dealt with in the morning. Um, tomorrow morning, uh, we'll be hearing from the two detectives and Alexis, correct? That's correct. Uh, and we, sh we anticipate that will take two hours, so we'll begin with witnesses uh, again at 1030. My, I have a good sense of, of the issues underlying the defense's motion to exclude the testimony of the child. I believe I'll be able to make a, a decision sometime tomorrow. You weren't planning on calling her till Friday, is that right? Uh, or is she, is she scheduled for tomorrow? We're bringing her tomorrow. What um, time were you thinking? Uh, Alexis is her guardian, and so I see. she would be coming down here with Alexis. We have plans for someone to be in here with her. Certainly, if the court needs more time, we could bring her back for Friday. For Friday. I, I will do my best to to get the issue decided. I Like I say, I have, I have a good sense of it, so... Anything further from the defense, substantively? No, Your Honor. Okay. Your Honor, maybe I could make a record of witnesses. Uh, yeah. We're, we're approached by media often, and we might be able to get that. I, I would just like a witness list at the end of each day for the next day. So who will we have tomorrow? We're juggling a few people, so I'll try and make this as accurate as possible. But, of course, we do have uh, Doug Whitney, Jeff Robinson, Alexis Summers, potentially... Ada McNeil, the child witness. We also have Rachel McNeil. And we have a number of uh, witnesses that we might call. Jackie College, Cheryl Radmall, Lanny okay. Swallow, Laureen Thompson. Fairly short, I assume. Yes, and, and Connie Cooper. And we're going to be liberal in our approach with witnesses we don't want to continue to end early each day It'd be nice to use the time okay so if it carries over to friday so be it but. okay uh i would just remind uh media outlets who are here to abide strictly by my decorum order and the rule of judicial administration regarding the photographing of child witnesses. I'd like you to review that, make sure that we have no problems with that tomorrow. A um, couple of media issues. Uh, the first, we, the still photographer today, your camera is really loud and it's been distracting. I, I think if you can get some different equipment, that would be really helpful. Um, uh, th I think this is the first day that's been an issue. I, I know other photographers have been here and it's it's not been an issue, but today it was, and so see what you can do about that. Um, the 
media has been unable to to photograph the tub um, in a way when testimony is offered about it. I'm reluctant to move it. It's in a perfect position because we can present the, the photograph of the bathroom. The tub is correctly oriented. If we move it this way, its orientation changes. If we move it that way, we block the hallway that we need to get witnesses up here. Um, right now, the podium blocks the view of it from the camera there. Uh, they've requested to my trial court executive to move the bookcase that direction uh, so that it will be just uh, behind the bar. I really don't have an issue with that, but I wanted to raise it with you. Do you have any concerns? It does make the angle of, of the lens more likely to photograph jurors. We want to make sure that doesn't become a problem, uh, but it does move it back. Objection, Your Honor. The state doesn't have a problem. But. I personally kind of like the arrangement the way it is. <coughs> okay. Is there? Do you have any prejudice? Any concern that you have about it? What it will be is I'm. I don't know who's here from the. Can you tell me how far you need it back? So it would be a lot. It's a big movement. It's a movement of it almost to the corner of the wall. Your Honor, I think that's distracting. I mean, the, the jury's kind of gotten used to the setup of the room the way it is. As, as we know from yesterday, they, they notice things based upon yeah. the question that was asked. Right. I really would like to just keep things the way they are and not draw attention to, to anything on the, on the defense side of the room. Okay. I want also wonder if the sheriff's office has concerns with that. Is that yep. Any security issues? None. Okay. Um, as as I've thought about this issue, I'm reluctant to make changes to the furniture. I, th I think we we're in a position at this point that um, the the television cameras have virtually disappeared. I don't want to call attention to them by moving things around. The bathtub's not going to be a fixture throughout the trial. I have allowed to come up afterwards and photograph it, and those photographs can be public. It's been a demonstrative exhibit throughout the trial, but I'm reluctant to move the furniture about. And so I'm going to order that it just stay where it is at this point. Is there anything further today? Nothing from the state. Again, counsel, I appreciate your careful work today. Courts in recess. All rise.